got over there? Next one we've got over here, this is a bit of a prickly customer, this one. He's not very friendly at all, so <laughs> you'll notice those cool. leaves are quite prickly. He's called Darwin's Barberry. Oh, yeah. There's another one that has a yellow flower. Yellow, yellow flower seems quite popular with the weeds. Yeah. yeah we, we like yellow and weeds. Um, Makes them easy to talk. <laughs> yeah. And his flowers are more sort of fluffy. Okay. Um, and and they're followed with these quite bright blue berries that have sort of a whitey down on them. They're quite quite yeah. attractive, but yeah. um, the uh, and they grow into the, they were used as as hedges because right. as you as you can feel that each leaf's quite sharp and prickly. They and, are, yeah. And they certainly keep the sheep on the right side of the fence. Um, and so some areas like around um, Harata Way, there were quite there were a few. Okay. Um, hedges of the, out that way. In fact, that's where that one came from today. Right. And, and, um, so why is this one a problem? Well, once again, it, it, the birds like it. It's, it spreads yeah. quite easily. Uh, it, and, and the worrying thing about this one is in Stewart Island, it's been found quite deep into native bush. A lot, a lot of exotic plants w- won't establish in our native bush because of the, the low, low light with right. the, our plants being uh, our native... Uh, having leaves on all year, and but this one does, and it thrives in there, and then eventually it'll overtop um, regenerating bush. So okay. it is quite a problem, and it's it's um, the, or the other distinguishing feature with it too is its bark's quite yellow. Right. This one's not quite so much, but it, when it gets a wee bit bigger, the bark's really yellow, sort of, okay. and uh, and it it really is pretty much a cut and stump treat job. That's another one. He's pretty yeah. hard to kill with herbicides. Mm. And tried chucking things out of the helicopter at it and yeah. it usually laughs at them. So. What about animals? Yeah. Would, you, would goats eat this? Um, well, the old goat, you know, he eats, eats a few prickly things. Yeah. And, um, but there is quite a patch of Darwin's Barbary on the Port Hills in an area that did have quite an infestation of goats. So okay. I suspect maybe not on this one. It might be just a bit much for them. Yeah. 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 But he's certainly the least popular one in the bag to carry around. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the, um, this one, really, Department of Conservation have, have got quite a program on it. ECAN's been assisting that. City Council does quite a bit of work on it. Um, yeah. The three agencies here in, in Canterbury, particularly the Christchurch area, work really well together. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of projects jointly and... Um, yeah, makes the ratepayers' money go and the taxpayers' money go a bit further. So, yeah, um, but we feel that we probably can get on top of Darwin's Barbering.